event this past Sunday. We welcome you to Providence, Rhode Island for yet another edition of Monday Night Raw. The road to WrestleMania has officially begun, but tonight we kick off the road to the Elimination Chamber on Sunday night, January the 22nd. Not one, but two number one contenders matches this evening, including your main event, which will be a special ladder matchup between All Day Austin Theory and Mr. Monday Night. Rob Van Dam, the winner, will challenge Randy Orton for the WWE Championship in less than three weeks at the Elimination Chamber. And as we mentioned, not one, but two number one contenders matches this evening. We are kicking things off with the number one contender to be crowned for the WWE Women's Championship currently held by the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. She won the gold once again this past Sunday at the Royal Rumble. We're going to talk all about it tonight. But first up, here comes Tegan Knox. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from the Welsh Valleys, Tegan Knox. Well, Tegan Knox made a return to Monday Night Raw a couple of weeks ago in an open challenge by then women's champion, the ballsy badass Shotzi. And as we mentioned, Shotzi and Asuka, they went one on one to conclude their near six month rivalry this past Sunday night at the Royal Rumble. And Asuka walking away, once again, the WWE Women's Champion of the World. So who will be her first challenger at Elimination Chamber? We're gonna find out right now. And accompanied by Bailey from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai. So a big opportunity at stake here for Dakota Kai and Tegan Knox, two women who know each other very well due to their history down in NXT. Now both a part of Monday Night Raw with a new champion at the top of the division. Asuka once again holds the gold. Who is going to be first to step up to her when the Elimination Chamber heads to Anaheim, California in a couple of weeks, less than three weeks away. Sunday night, January the 22nd for our final pay-per-view stop on the road to WrestleMania. Cannot wait to get to the Elimination Chamber. What a successful Royal Rumble it was this past Sunday night. But we're kicking things off tonight from Providence. Number one contenders matchup, Dakota Kai, Tegan Knox, one-on-one. -on -one. The winner is facing Asuka at the Elimination Chamber. We are underway with your opening contest here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Thank you guys for tuning in to yet another edition of Monday Night Raw here tonight in Providence. A successful Royal Rumble pay-per-view was this past Sunday, as we mentioned. We're going to be talking about it all night long. Asuka walking away, the new women's champion. Of course, the women's tag team titles were on the line as well. And Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell retained over the Boston Glow, Naomi and Sasha Banks. Of course, multiple Monday Night Raw matches featured on the Royal Rumble card. Kevin Owens and Edge with the surprise return of Sami Zayn to conclude that matchup. We're going to see Sami Zayn in action later tonight on Raw. Of course, Randy Orton retained the WWE Championship over the phenomenal AJ Styles, catching him with an RKO literally out of nowhere in that contest in Toronto this past Sunday. Now, Orton going to find out who his next challenger is going to be in that special ladder matchup here tonight on Raw between Austin Theory and Rob Van Dam. Of course, RVD was one of the final two men in the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup this past Sunday, which was, of course, won by the original bro, Matt Riddle. RVD and Austin Theory get another crack at the WWE Championship. A number one contender's contract going to be hanging above the ring later tonight here on Monday Night Raw. Let's focus on the action inside right now. Tegan Knox, Dakota Kai battling it out for a shot to go to the Elimination Chamber. Not to compete inside the chamber, but to go one-on-one -on -one with the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka for the gold. And of course, with WrestleMania looming, we're kicking off the road to WrestleMania here on Monday Night Raw. And whoever wins that Women's Championship matchup at the chamber very well will be the one going into WrestleMania as the Women's Champion. So a lot riding. Coming up in Anaheim in a couple of weeks' time. Dakota Kai, nice snap suplex on Tegan Knox there. Followed up with a kick right to the jaw. Now into the cover by Damage Controls. Dakota Kai, but Tegan Knox hanging in there. Knox took Shotzi to the limit a couple of weeks ago. Remember, as we mentioned, Shotzi had that open challenge for the Women's Championship. It was Tegan Knox who accepted. Knox came up short on that night. Man, did she push a ballsy badass to her limits? The matchup it was a few weeks back on Monday Night Raw. But let's see if Tegan 
and get herself an earned women's championship matchup here this evening on Monday Night Raw. Damage Control has been struggling a bit as of late. The participants in the Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament over the fall came up short there and unfortunately have not been able to get their act together ever since. Dakota Kai presented with this opportunity tonight, the same as Tegan Knox. Only one of them, though, can move on to Anaheim in the Elimination Chamber. Now look at Tegan unloading on Dakota Kai in the corner, stomping away goes Lady Kane. I'm sure Shotzi has got her eyes on this matchup. I'm sure the former women's champion is chomping at the bit to get another opportunity. Of course, it was the final encounter between the Ballsy Badass and Asuka. So Shotzi not going to be getting a women's championship matchup at least anytime soon. But if the opportunity arises here. The Ballsy Badass is going to step up to try to get back her championship that she lost this past Sunday. Dakota kicks out again, but Tegan Knox has been all over Dakota Kai in this opening matchup here on Raw. Dakota bounces back. Nice drop kick there. Dakota very versatile with her feet, with her kicks. Knows how to beat down her opponent. And now look at this. Going for that running kick in the corner. Could be a knockout blow, but Tegan Knox able to avoid it. And now Tegan head scissors take down on Kai. Let's see what Knox got in mind. She's headed to the top rope here. And a big time splash as Tegan going to punch her ticket to the elimination chamber. Not just yet as Dakota Kai kicks out. You can got to keep her eye on Bailey at ringside. Bailey hasn't gotten involved yet, but you know, push comes to shove. The leader of damage control in this team will definitely stick her nose in the business. Look at this, Tegan putting Dakota Kai on the top rope. Nice arm drag there by Knox. And there's Bailey trying to distract Tegan, but Tegan's having none of it. She knows the opportunity that's at hand, doesn't want to see it slip through her fingers. And look at this, choke slam by De Tegan Knox. And into the cover she goes. And Tegan punches her ticket for the Elimination Chamber. Well, she took shots to the limit a few weeks ago. She was all over Dakota Kai tonight. And the newly returned Tegan Knox now sees a new opportunity on the horizon. The Empress of Tomorrow, the woman who walked out of Toronto with the Women's Championship, now will meet her first challenger in Anaheim in less than three weeks at the Elimination Chamber live premiere event. Here is your winner, Tegan Knox. What a way to kick off Monday Night Raw. A big victory in the young career for that woman right there. It is official. Coming up in Elimination Chamber, the Women's Championship is on the line. Tegan Knox, the new number one contender, will meet the Empress of tomorrow, Asuka, live on pay-per-view in Anaheim. Cannot wait to get to the Elimination Chamber. The action rolls on here tonight in Providence. The New Day on their way to the ring as Kofi Kingston is set for a one-on-one -on -one action. A little bit of a grudge match lined up for the New Day. A settle the score with the World Tag Team Champions DIY. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Xavier Woods. Representing the New Day from Ghana, West Africa, weighing in at 212 pounds, Kofi Kingston. We want to take you back to a couple of weeks ago, right here on Monday Night Raw. It was in the midst of the tag team eliminator on the road to the Royal Rumble. DIY with a successful victory over Kofi and Woods. But as you can see after the matchup, Gargano and Ciampa making a statement in the midst of the tag team eliminator, a post-match beatdown on Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods. DIY, of course, moved on to the Royal Rumble this past Sunday night and dethroned Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic to become the new World Tag Team Champions. But they made some enemies along the way, and those enemies consist of Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods and the New Day. So Kofi set for a one-on-one -on -one matchup tonight with one half of the World Tag Team Champions and Tommaso Ciampa right here on Monday Night Raw. And his opponent, accompanied by Johnny Gargano, representing DIY from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Tommaso Ciampa. 
A busy schedule for DIY as they continue in ring action. They won those titles this past Sunday night, as we mentioned, in a physical altercation between Dominic Dajakovic and Damian Priest. And both of these men found themselves as participants in the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup just under an hour after that win. Neither of them, of course, picking up the win in the Rumble match. That was won by the original bro, Matt Riddle. But nonetheless, they still walked away victors from Toronto this past Sunday night. Tommaso Ciampa, one half of the new World Tag Team Champions, set to go one-on-one -on -one with the New Days. Kofi Kingston here on Monday Night Raw, and the former WWE Champion taking the fight to Ciampa right off the opening bell. A lot riding on this matchup for the New Day. Gargano and Ciampa, the new Tag Team Champions, a grudge to settle with them. Kofi Kingston picks up the victory here tonight. We could be looking at our new number one contenders for the World Tag Team Championships. Xavier Woods trying to rally the troops here in Providence, trying to get Tommaso Ciampa's eye off the ball here. Ciampa heading to the top rope. Long characteristic for the Blackheart. We don't see him go up there too often, but Kofi kicks in the high flyer. Thought he was going to try to combat it, but instead Ciampa instead just throws Kofi Kingston out of the ring. Xavier Woods is trying to take Ciampa's eye off the ball, but now Ciampa's headed back up to the top rope. And Ciampa to the outside, dropping Kofi Kingston with a DDT. Man, what a maneuver by the Blackheart. Hate to say it, but one of the most talented and toughest SOBs inside the squared circle. It's a knockout blow any day of the week, but the altercation continues on the outside. A backstabber to Kofi Kingston. Champa and Gargano, they know they can beat the New Day. They did it in tag team action in the tag team eliminator, but tonight it's one-on-one. -on -one. Woods and Gargano at ringside. Champa's got to focus solely on Kofi Kingston. Can he get the job done? Right now, he's certainly in the driver's seat. Kofi has got his... Egg scrambled at ringside, trying to battle back as Champa's brung the fight to the ringside area. Now Kofi throwing him into the barricade. Kofi heads into the ring to catch a breather in here. Wait a minute, Kofi Kingston, look at this, to the outside, going for the cross body, but Tommaso Champa sidesteps it. Could have been a game changer in this matchup, but Champa was having none of it. And Kofi Kingston, a crash and burn at ringside, and the momentum stays with Tommaso Champa in this matchup. A shot right to the noggin, into the cover. Kofi gets the shoulder up, but you gotta believe the damage is already starting to tally up here for one half of the new day. Now Champa looking to continue the fight, that vintage neck breaker by the cold-hearted black heart of DIY. Oh, wait a minute, Kofi trying to battle back here. Look at that! Innovative maneuver into the DDT. Kofi Kingston, a former WWE champion, a former Intercontinental and United States champion. And how many reigns have the New Day had over the years here in the WWE? Dropping the leg on Champa. Kofi's just trying to build some momentum after Tommaso was all over him for a few moments in this contest. But Tommaso Champa, first time in singles action in a couple of weeks here in the WWE. Well, well over a month if I look at my history books here, since he lost the Intercontinental Championship, but. Tommaso Ciampa has yet to be defeated in singles action here on Monday Night Raw since joining the main roster. His only loss comes in a triple threat matchup where he was pinned by Pete Dunne for the Intercontinental title back at Raw Homecoming on December 7th, but still, tag team action undefeated! And so is singles action, and Ciampa gonna continue that record right now. Double knees to Kofi, and that's about to be all she wrote. No, Kofi Kingston survives! Kofi survives another moment in this matchup, but I don't know how long you're going to last taking punishment like that from the Blackheart. Well, Champa could have been looking for the fairy tale ending. Kofi able to get it out of it there. Nice kick to the back of the head. Pulls him back in with another kick. Kofi is just trying to mount some offense here, build some momentum, get the crowd in Providence reeling. Tommaso's down. Let's see if Kofi Kingston. Can outrun the black card here tonight on Raw. Loads him into the corner, a nice splash for the New Day's Kofi Kingston. Champa is rocked right now. I don't believe Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic are gonna be looking to come back in the near future to get themselves another opportunity at the World Tag Team titles that they lost this past Sunday night. 
Right now, Ciampa and Gargano can't be focused on anything like that. Ciampa's got to focus on Kofi Kingston, who went for the crossbody, but Ciampa out of position there. Now, Tommaso taking advantage of a costly misstep by Kofi and another neck breaker. Kofi's taking a lot of damage, similar to that throughout this matchup, but still able to get the shoulder up. Kofi is showing fight here against the black heart of the WWE. Can never count Kofi Kingston out. He's a former WWE champion for a reason. Has all the tools to get back there in the main event picture one day, but right now is focused on the tag team division. Champa's down, Kofi Springboard going for the back senton, but Champa was out of the way. And once again, Champa is back in the driver's seat of this matchup here tonight in Providence on Monday Night Raw. Still to come tonight, Sami Zayn after returning at the Royal Rumble will be in action here on Monday Night Raw. Plus, Austin Theory versus Rob Van Dam in a ladder matchup. The winner will challenge Randy Orton at the Elimination Chamber for the WWE title. Now Kofi off the crossbody here. Looking for the boom drop on Champa. Kofi with the double legs into the cover. Will that be enough? And oh, Champa reaches out, gets the hand on the ropes. Champa barely survives there. Didn't have enough strength to get the kick out, but saw where he was located inside of the ring, reached out, grabbed the ropes, and the matchup continues for another moment. May have been Kofi's best shot at mounting some offense and getting the victory over Champa here. He's going for that neck breaker again. How many neck breaker variations have we seen for the black car? At some point, Kofi ain't going to be able to survive any longer. Can't count him out. Springs up. Champa's right there. Back drop to Kofi. And now Kofi with an elbow drop to the gut of Tommaso Champa. Xavier Woods is pacing at ringside. He knows the opportunity that's at hand. Champa gets caught by Kofi. Kofi's trying to stay into this thing. Takes Champ off his feet in the double knees. Or excuse me, the double stomp by Kofi Kingston. Champa runs at him. Drop kick and he nails it flush. What a matchup we got here tonight on Raw. Obviously a grudge match as we mentioned after the attack a number of weeks ago in the tag team eliminator. Kofi springing up, grabbing Champa. Oh, look at this. Neck breaker by Kofi. Kofi getting in the driver's seat. Woods trying to build some momentum. Get Providence into this matchup. And Kofi with the springboard crossbody. Hit it on the lower back, kind of lower leg section of Champa. Still done enough damage, and Champa's reeling here. Wait a minute. Kofi Kingston. SOS on Tommaso Champa. Into the cover. Kofi gets the victory. Kofi knocks off one half of the World Tag Team Champions here tonight on Raw. Tommaso Ciampa suffering his first pinfall loss in a singles matchup since joining Monday Night Raw back in the month of August. What a win for Kofi Kingston tonight. That's got to feel good for the new day. Here is your winner, Kofi Kingston. Well, a measure of retribution on Kofi Kingston's behalf for himself and Xavier Woods, but the question remains now, have the New Day just put themselves in line as the number one contenders for Gargano and Ciampa DIY's World Tag Team Championships in the near future? What a win for Kofi Kingston here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we want to take you back to this past Sunday night in Toronto where the Rated R Superstar Edge got the grudge match he wanted. One-on-one -on -one with the prize fighter Kevin Owens and no holds barred. And what a physical altercation it was and everything these men threw at each other. But the controversy coming out of this contest was this right here, the return of Kevin Owens' best friend, the quote-unquote great liberator Sami Zayn who arrived in Toronto laid out the rated R superstar and allowed his best friend Kevin Owens to capitalize and pick up the victory this past Sunday night at the Rumble we take you back inside Providence here tonight and Angelo Dawkins of the Street Profits is set for one-on-one -on -one action against the returning Sami Zayn a couple of weeks ago December the 21st on Saturday night's main event 
Montez Ford had an opportunity to tackle Kevin Owens, pushed him to the limit that night in Columbus. But Kevin Owens, the prize fighter, walking away victorious on that night. Saturday night's main event. Angelo Dawkins gets a crack at Sami Zayn tonight. This is Sami Zayn's first contest in over a year here in the WWE after returning this past Sunday from that long-awaited injury. You gotta wonder what the rated R superstar Edge and how he's feeling. What's going through Edge's mind after the events of Toronto? We obviously know that Edge is gonna be back for more. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, we said it in Toronto on Sunday, we'll say it again. They may have bit off more than they can chew with the rated R superstar. But nonetheless, he's back on Monday Night Raw. Sami Zayn set for a one-on-one -on -one action versus the Street Profits, Angelo Dawkins. And his opponent, accompanied by Kevin Owens from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Weighing in at 212 pounds, Sami Zayn! Well, the best friend duo is back together. The Kevin and Sami show looking to take over Monday Night Raw. But boy, oh boy, do they got a couple of targets on their back after the events of the Royal Rumble. Edge has been waiting nearly seven weeks to get his hands on Kevin Owens. He wanted the retribution after Edge was almost put on the shelf for good by Kevin Owens on the Raw after Survivor Series. Right where it looked like Edge had Kevin Owens beat. That man right there, Sami Zayn arrives to the surprise of us all, laid out the rated R superstar and handed a victory on a silver platter to his best friend Kevin Owens at the Rumble. Nonetheless, what can we expect out of two men with the attitudes and morals of Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn? But here we go, Sami's in-ring return to Monday Night Raw versus Angelo Dawkins here tonight in Providence. Still to come in your main event, all day Austin Theory, one-on-one -on -one with Mr. Monday Night Rob Van Dam. And it won't just be a singles matchup, won't just be pinfall or submission, it is going to be a ladder matchup with a contract hanging above the ring. And the winner will challenge Randy Orton for the WWE Championship in less than three weeks in Anaheim, California at the Elimination Chamber event. Which will be our final live premiere before we get to WrestleMania. Cannot wait to get there. Cannot wait to get to the chamber. Let's focus in on the action right here. Angelo Dawkins taking the fight to Sami Zayn ever since the opening bell. Dawkins sees opportunity tonight, not just for himself, not just for the Street Profits, but I get to get, I bet, excuse me, to get a measure of revenge off of Edge's behalf here tonight on Raw. Kevin Owens, of course, at ringside of his best friend, Sami Zayn, after their reunion this past Sunday. Sami Zayn right now is his first matchup back in quite some time. He ain't looking so hot against the big man of the Street Profits, Angelo Dawkins. He's been unloading on Sami Zayn ever since this matchup kicked off and I'll tee it off on Sami in the corner. Great liberator, better watch who he pisses off. And oh wait, Kevin Owens is up on the apron trying to distract Angelo Dawkins. And this is what we're gonna have to look out for in the future between Owens and Zayn. This shenanigans. Can't expect nothing less from these two kind of guys. Sami Zayn now. Look at that, off the distraction from Kevin Owens and Angelo Dawkins not letting anything get in his view tonight. Taking Sami Zayn out of the ring. Dawkins is on fire tonight in Providence. Grabbing a hold of Sammy, flipping him over as Sammy gets back into the ring. This match has been all Dawkins since the opening bell. We may have spoke too soon. There's Sammy Zayn. Now heading to the top rope. Sammy lying in wait here for Angelo Dawkins. And oh, Dawkins, he saw Dawkins had him in mind. Sammy Zayn changed his strategy. Wait a minute, springboard, tornado DDT by the Great Liberator. We might not like Sammy Zayn. We might not like his attitude. We may not like his ego. Same thing goes for Kevin Owens, but at the end of the day, Sami Zayn is a former NXT champion as well as a former Intercontinental champion. You gotta take him seriously from bell to bell. Look at Sami here. Look at this. Through the ring post and a Tornado DDT at ringside. Vintage Sami Zayn, whether you like or not, an impressive maneuver by the great liberator of WWE. Sami's just teeing off on Dawkins on the outside. Montez Ford. Can't be happy with what he's witnessing. Just feet away from him right now. Sammy better watch who he's mouthing off to. Montez Ford 
Might start teeing off of him just like Dawkins was a few moments ago. Sammy into the cover, nonetheless here. He's gonna get the win on his return, but Dawkins gets the shoulder up. You know, Sammy Zayn and Kevin Owens, after what happened at the Rumble, they gotta believe that Edge is gonna be back for more. Edge is not gonna go down until he is satisfied and he feels he got retribution over, over Kevin Owens, excuse me. I'm sure things were going that way in his hometown of Toronto. What a night it was for Edge. The ovation in the Scotiabank Arena when Edge arrived absolutely blew the roof off the building and everyone was ready to see Edge get that revenge over Kevin Owens in the no holds barred matchup. But plan B, the backup plan for Kevin Owens. Things were going south. Sami Zayn was on standby. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens just screwing over Edge in Toronto. As we were mentioning, you got to believe they know that Edge is going to be back for more. When that day comes, I would not want to be Sami Zayn nor Kevin Owens. Whenever it is that the Rated R, Super Rated R Superstar decides to come back for some vengeance. Three. Fight continues on the outside of the ring. Oh, Sami Zayn, my goodness! A lot of action on the outside of the square circle from Sami Zayn. Very physical beatdown from this man. And now he's continuing it on the off offense on the outside. Dawkins is going to be feeling this fight in the morning. Sami Zayn is having his way with one half of the Street Profits right now. Seven. It's a count of seven. I'm sure Sami Zayn doesn't give a damn if he gets a count out or not. Eight. The victory is all that man cares about. Wait a minute, Sami going back out to the outside and unloading on Dawkins right now. Again. Dawkins up against the barricade. Sami Zayn. So it was taking his time, beating down one half of the Street Profits here. He's playing with his food as Dawkins, not having none of it, will not be a stepping stone in Sami Zayn's return story. Five. Dawkins trying to fight back. Dawkins getting into the ring. Sami Zayn on the chase. And here comes Dawkins again. Flips him outside of the ring. And the big man up on the apron here. A lot of action to the outside, and it continues with the senton off the apron. Dawkins heads back in, and one half of the Street Profits has found himself back in the driver's seat of this one-on-one -on -one contest here tonight in Providence. Sami Zayn has got his eggs scrambled on the outside of the ring, and this is smart for Dawkins. Take a moment to rest. Let Sami Zayn come to him, and then try to capitalize. Whipping Zayn off into the corner. Vintage Dawkins there. The big man of the Street Profits back in control. Sami Zayn is down and out. And another big time splash into the cover. Gonna spoil the return of Sami on Raw. And Sami gets the shoulder off. Damage certainly done there by Angelo Dawkins nonetheless. Picking up the smaller competitor. Looking to use his strength to his advantage here. Dawkins has got to try to put this away. The offense he took, the damage he took from Sami Zayn on the outside of the ring, couple of big time maneuvers from the great liberator. Dawkins may be running off adrenaline right now, but you know he's gonna be feeling it. What a shot to the gut, enough to knock out the blow. In the wind of anybody. And now look at Dawkins, he is unloading on Sami Zayn right now, and another shot by the big man. Providence is coming unglued for one half of the Street Profits, and now off the second rope he goes with the splash on Sami Zayn. And Dawkins ain't done yet. He's got something else in mind for the quote-unquote great liberator of WWE. Shot to Sammy. Now Dawkins picking up Sami Zayn. Sami goes behind off the counter. Four on to the back and sending Dawkins into the corner. And Sami Zayn catches him with a haluva kick. And that may be all she wrote. Sami with the knockout blow. And Sami Zayn picks up the victory in his return. Well, Dawkins put up a great fight in this matchup. But nonetheless, that man right there, Sami Zayn, in his return to Monday Night Raw tonight, picks up the victory with Kevin Owens by his side. And oh, come on, leave the ring. The match is over with. Come on, Sami. Come on, Sami. A beatdown on Angelo Dawkins. The match is over with. Dawkins already got his bell rung off the Huluva kick. Sami Zayn looking to make an impact on night one of his return here on Monday Night Raw. Somebody get him out of the ring, it's ridiculous.
Well, the next time we come your way for a live premiere event, Sunday night, January the 22nd, 2023, at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, for your final pay-per-view before WrestleMania, it's the Elimination Chamber, coming your way from Anaheim, California. But it is time for your main event here tonight in Providence. The ladders are set, the contracts hanging above the ring. Who is gonna fight Randy Orton for the WWE Championship in less than three weeks at the Elimination Chamber event? The former WWE Champion himself, all day Austin Theory, unsuccessful in the Rumble match. Can he bounce back tonight? The following contest is a ladder match. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia. Weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. Austin Theory held the WWE Championship from August 7th to September the 10th of last year, and ever since has been chomping at the bit to get the title back. He had an opportunity against Randy Orton back at Raw Homecoming in December, came up short against the Viper on that night. Theory was, of course, one of the 15 Raw superstars that entered the Royal Rumble matchup this past Sunday night, coming up short again. So Austin Theory finds himself with yet another opportunity to try to get back the WWE Championship. Can that young man capitalize, or will another opportunity slip through the fingers of the all-day Austin Theory? But here comes the opponent, set for the ladder match tonight. And his opponent from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds. Mr. Monday Night arrived at number 30 in the Royal Rumble matchup and lasted to the final two with the original bro, Matt Riddle. Unfortunately for RVD, was eliminated by Riddle. Riddle is on his way to fight the WWE Champion at WrestleMania. I'm sure Riddle, deep down, wants that man to be Randy Orton, a matchup that he's been waiting on to get his hands on Randy Orton once again ever since August. At the same time, Riddle, a competitor of the game, a love for the sport and the competition. I'm sure he wouldn't mind stepping in there with RVD or even Austin Theory as well come WrestleMania for the WWE Championship. Nonetheless, we're going to find out who will fight Randy Orton in Anaheim in just under three weeks at the Elimination Chamber. It is a number one contender's ladder match. The contract's hanging above the ring. Theory, RVD, in your main event here tonight in Providence. A special main event we have to you to kick off truly the road to WrestleMania here on Monday Night Raw. Ladders are at play and an opportunity is on the line. That'll be Theory taking on Randy Orton for the WWE Championship or what will be RVD taking on Randy Orton for the gold in just under three weeks at the Elimination Chamber. But who's it going to be? Theory brings a ladder into play and RVD, oh my goodness, a poison Rana on the top of the ladder. Just moments after this matchup kicks off, the chaos has already ensued. Any means necessary, got to throw caution in the wind for a shot at Randy Orton in the WWE Championship. And RVD knows ladders very well. He's won the Money in the Bank matchup back in 2006 to win the WWE Championship just a few months later. Countless ladder matches throughout his career for Mr. Monday Night Austin Theory. His first one here in the WWE. Is it going to be successful as he splashes RVD right on the edge of the ladder? This matchup just getting started and the ladder's already coming into play. As both these men are throwing caution into the win since the opening bell. I'm sure both of these men may look at this as a real last opportunity to get a chance at the WWE Championship and be the champion heading in to the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. If one of these men can walk into the Elimination Chamber and beat Randy Orton, well, they'll guarantee themselves the spot in the main event at the show of shows. So a lot more riding on tonight than just any old opportunity. A chance to live forever as the WWE Champion at WrestleMania. They got to get through Elimination Chamber and Randy Orton first, but the only way to get to Anaheim is to get through Providence tonight. Riders back into play. And RVD with a super kick to Austin Theory. Two main players here on Monday Night Raw, two main event stars. Both of these men have recent losses to the phenomenal AJ Styles, the man who came up short against Randy Orton at Elimination Chamber. 
Now back in the pegging order goes all these men. Everybody fighting it out for a new opportunity as Theory eats the steal right there. RVD knows how to utilize these ladders to his fullest advantage. Now whipping Theory off. A nice arm drag by Mr. Monday Night. Go for the kick. Theory counters. His ladder's not just here to be climbed and to retrieve the briefcase with the contract hanging above the ring. To be used as weapons throughout this entire contest as Theory. Simple but effective on RVD right there. Now Theory climbing the ladder. Looking to bring home that number one contender's contract. And RVD saying none of it. These two battling it out the top of the steel. RVD with a kick and down goes Theory. And RVD with the Elimination Chamber contract in hand. It takes a lot to unbuckle it there. RVD trying his hardest to get that unlocked, but... Is he going to be able to do it here? Theory's knocked out. Theory's got to get up. It's now or never for all day Austin Theory and RVD losing his grip. You're up there at the top of the rug. Try to keep your balance. Oh, wait a minute. RVD gets shoved off the ladder by Austin Theory. It ain't just one tug at the briefcase to pull it down. You got to unbuckle it a couple of times while trying to maintain your balance on the ladder and just too much right there for RVD. Ladder set back up, Theory's climbing, RVD shoves Theory off, giving him a taste of his own medicine. And back to the drawing board in this ladder matchup. Oh, and now RVD using the ladder as a weapon once again. And the man who calls himself the now of the WWE, no longer the future, all day Austin Theory. The man who's already been WWE Champion, wait a minute, going eight town down on RVD. And Van Dam may be knocked out cold right there. Austin Theory going to take RVD out of the picture so he can have a clear-cut road to the top of the ladder, but Van Dam has still got life left in him. RVD, for a man of his age, for a man of his stature and his career, already a WWE Hall of Famer, but still battling it out with the best of them. RVD has kept his body young throughout the years, the reason he is able to compete with guys like Austin Theory in 2023. Especially in matches like this, a ladder matchup here on Monday Night Raw. Now Theory snap suplex to Mr. Monday Night. Austin Theory looking to get another chance at Randy Orton after coming up short at home, coming back in December. RBD looking to meet Randy Orton for the first time for the WWE Championship. Those two men got history dating back over a decade here in the WWE. RVD wants to reignite that flame, but this time with the gold on the line. Who's it going to be? And it really begs the question, will it be Theory, will it be RVD, or will it be Randy Orton going into WrestleMania as the WWE Champion? And of course, that man will fight Matt Riddle in the main event of the show of shows, the man who won the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup this past Sunday. Now RVD, look at this, goes behind on Theory. Look going to send the young man out of the picture. And RVD grabs the ladder. What has Mr. Monday Night got in mind here? The theory's on the outside. I don't know what RVD is looking to do. RVD's wheels are spinning right now. Theory's coming back into the ring. RVD going to meet him there. And Mr. Monday Night, nice slam to Theory. RVD, you remember, came up. Just short in the Royal Rumble matchup. He was number 30, lasted to the end with number 27, Matt Riddle. The final two in the 30-man fray. And Matt Riddle just getting the best of RVD in just a few moments and was able to send him over the top rope. But RVD coming so close to a mug of that over the top rope and Theory's counting his lucky stars that RVD overshot it. And nonetheless, RVD was so close to a WWE Championship matchup, he could taste it this past Sunday in Toronto. Now with a new opportunity at hand, is trying to capitalize on his, his fullest abilities, but Austin Theory may have just ended the night for Mr. Monday Night himself. Theory grabbing another ladder, bringing that into the ring there. RVD trying to stop him halfway. Goes behind, neck breaker there, takes out all day Austin Theory. Here he's down, RVD is climbing the rugs here. Mr. Monday Night, wait a minute, he's heading to the top of the ladder. Van Dam, Theory's getting up. RVD dropping the elbow on the back of Austin Theory. 
throwing caution in the wind just for the opportunity to become the WWE Champion. Less than three weeks at the Elimination Chamber, but Austin Theory now lays out Van Dam and climbing the rugs of the ladder is that young man who's got his hands in the briefcase, RVD, trying to make sure Theory isn't going to be the number one contender for Randy Orton. Oh, and a couple of shots, and Theory's finally losing his grip. Oh, wait a minute. Off the ladder with the power bomb. What a maneuver by the whole damn show. Take out Austin Theory. RVD's setting up another ladder here. We got two ladders taking up the middle of the squared circle. Now Van Dam is looking to use him as a weapon. Now wait a minute. Rolling thunder time, but Austin Theory gets the shoulders up. Or excuse me, the knees up on the back of RVD. Back and forth, the momentum seems to be swinging in this main event matchup here in Providence, Rhode Island on Monday Night Raw. Your first Raw on the road to WrestleMania. Shot to the back by Theory, gonna continue the offense after getting his knees up off the rolling thunder, really saved himself for what could have possibly been the, been the maneuver that kept him down for good in this matchup. Uh-oh, uh-oh, RVD getting all tied up. It gets face planted by Theory. And Austin Theory's climbing the ladder. Theory looking to retrieve the briefcase. Wait a minute, Theory's on top. Theory's on the top of the ladder and just dropping a double knee on the gut of Rob Van Dam. Theory wanted to inflict more punishment. And now it's got RVD in his grasp. And what is the whole damn show? Oh, wait a minute. Well, RVD might have been in trouble there, able to battle out of it. More experience with Mr. Monday Night coming into play. Theory might have had the match won, but decided to go off the top and drop the knees on Van Dam, and it may have cost him. RVD missing for a springboard kick. Now Theory back in control, sending Van Dam into the corner. Oh, wait a minute here. Not, not with the ladder in hindsight, and luckily he misses the ladder, but the blockbuster nonetheless. RVD kips up. The opportunity to be called champion pushes these men a little further, and what a maneuver on the ladder. And Van Dam follows it up with the mood salt on the cold, hard steel of the ladder placed in the middle of the ring. Now Theory's back up. Momentum swinging like a pendulum in this number one contender's matchup. They're running off adrenaline right now, all for the opportunity to fight Randy Orton for the WWE title and possibly punch a ticket to WrestleMania in three weeks. And RVD again. Sends Theory to the outside. Now Rob Van Dam heading up. Theory is down on the outside. Wait a minute here. Van Dam going for a moonsault on the outside of the ring. Crushing the windpipe of Austin Theory. Theory is down and out. And now Rob Van Dam left all alone in the center of the ring, scaling the rugs of the ladder. Theory's starting to get his wits about him on the outside. RVD's got to try to get that briefcase unhooked. It's now or never for Mr. Monday Night. Theory's on his way, but RVD, Theory's too late. RVD grabs the briefcase. And the whole damn show, Mr. Monday Night is on his way to Anaheim on January 22nd to meet Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. What a physical ladder match here in Providence on Raw. Here is your winner, Rob Van Dam. The contract says it all. Elimination Chamber, the matchup is signed. The Apex Predators' next number one contender is Mr. Monday Night, Rob Van Dam. RVD Orton in less than three weeks, January 22nd. Anaheim, California at the Elimination Chamber. Who is going to be the man walking into WrestleMania as the champion? We will find out in less than three weeks. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time on Raw. Game face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rock.